Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Uh, I want to shoot a quick video for you today about choosing good material. Normally you know that when I go down there, uh, you can look at any of my past videos, a lot of times the first thing I talk about is finding some gravel to run. So, <clears throat> we've kind of gone over some of the steps for finding gravel. You know, normally you go through it like in between the furrows and kind of, you know, in some of the drainages that leave out the south end of the park and everything, but uh, since I'm not at the park this weekend, I want to shoot a video on uh, some of the gravel that I've brought home and kind of give you a look at what I'm looking for when I get into the, some of this gravel. I'll wash a couple screenfuls and we'll kind of take a look at it and I can show you what's in it. And I've got another video. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be out before or after this video. One way or the other, I'll link the two together um, so you can see some of the heavy minerals that I'm looking for. And um, it, it, there, are, there are quite a few minerals down there, but there are some in particular that I'll show you in this other video. But for this one right here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a couple of screens of gravel and just kind of show you um, some good and some bad about the two screens that I flipped for you. All right, so I'm going to work this first screen. Uh, like I said, this is gravel that I've brought back from previous trips. Um, but, it, you know, if, if you look at it, when you've got it flipped and you've got a center in front of you, if you know how to make a center, which you should have learned that uh, before you went or even when you went there, um, find a way to learn how to make your centers. I've got a video and it should be linked up here on the top of the screen. But uh, I'm going to make a center out of this real quick and I'll show you what's in it. Set that there to drain for just a second. Made these little cutouts out of styrofoam. So I'm going to bring you in for a close-up and show you what I'm seeing here. You can tell uh, that's not a very big bullseye. Okay, so you can see that I've got a little bit of quartz. Maybe that looks like a little piece of calcite right there. And you can see a little bit of hematite. That's kind of the reddish rusty colored and some of the bigger rocks of jasper. But there's not a whole lot in there. You know, normally you'd expect to see a center that might go out that wide if it had a lot of heavy stuff in it so this isn't gravel that i'd be real happy about running um, this is uh that's my cat what are you doing all right so you can see the gravel i've got here that's not real good gravel it does have just a little bit of a center um, sometimes you might still find a diamond um, if you ran a whole lot of volume on something like this, you still have some chance. I mean, realistically, anytime you go out there and run dirt or even walk over dirt and look down, you statistically have a chance of finding a diamond. But what you want to do is you want to concentrate on material that's got the best bang for your buck, you know, the best, uh, best samples of heavies in it. So this doesn't have much. If I already had it all in my buckets and at the wash station, I'd probably still run it, but I really wouldn't like it. So I'm gonna get some of the gravel from my last trip where I actually found a diamond. Um, I'm gonna get it loaded in my screen, center it up, and I'll show it to you on the other side of this. All right, so this is the gravel from the last trip where I found a diamond. Already got myself a little bit wet. I was hoping I wouldn't do that this time, but uh, I'm gonna make center real quick, show you what it looks like over there on that side. All right, you can already tell if you can see that from there that that is a much better center than this one over here. 
All right. So, you take a real good close look at that. You can see a lot of quartz and calcite, but if you zoom out a little bit, you can see that there's kind of a ring of that reddish orange, some hematite and some jasper. That's all good stuff. That's stuff you want to see. If you look, they're mixed in amongst that whiter is lots of little black specks. Those are spinel. So that's one of the good heavies that you want to see. Um, there are three or four other heavy minerals that I like to look for that you know are kind of a good indication to me that it's really good material. Um, for the purpose of this video, you can see the difference between these two. If you had this coming out of your buckets, you're in real good shape. This is, uh, when I found this diamond, this was out of the west drain. So technically, I actually dug it straight out of the stream and it was already very concentrated. It was, it looked like it hadn't been dug in a long time. Um, somebody hadn't cleaned that out. It was uh, late in the winter. Um, and this, I can't remember where this gravel came from. It was just one of the buckets. I've got about 10 or 12 buckets of stuff that I've brought home. So, yeah, this is uh, some pretty good material. And, of course, I found a 21-point diamond. I'll give a link here in the video somewhere across the top. And you can see where that came from. So, pretty good stuff. Big difference. This, maybe, that, definitely. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you would, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.